Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Adnan Rafiq and I will today we will be discussing some maps uh, related to ClickSense applications, uh, how we can use that, how can we can use Click to do more with maps. Okay, so I have this particular data. I will just show you. I have these polygon coordinates and I have districts of Pakistan. Uh, so with some a little more data about it. So let's see how we can use this particular data. Uh, automatically there is some customized data. So let's just get started with that. Okay, so first thing we will do is that I know, I hope that all you guys know how to create an application. I've just created an application and I'm here uh, in this particular screen where I can add the data. If you don't know how to create an application, it's very fair, just you can create new application. Uh, you can come on your screen uh, depending on where you are. You can just add new data and uh, add new application or depending on your desktop, you can choose that. Okay, so let's just get started. I will just drop this particular file into the ClickSense. I have already uh, done this couple of times, so I just get this error. I will just have this file replaced. And here it's going, uh, it's loading my data into my memory into the click sense. Okay, so uh, before I go there, uh, I have just uh, this seen, uh, seen recently, especially, and I think you will be encountering this particular issue uh, in your file. So that's why I haven't changed that particular uh, thing. If you have a CSV file, so comma, it's a comma separated file. But if you see, uh, my at my data set clearly so what's happening is that I have commas in between over here as well so rather than becoming a comma separated file it becomes something else so uh, in order to make sure that we uh, click tries to evaluate this and it gives me something like that it's not it's unable to actually evaluate this particular file so if you have a CSV file which has polygon coordinates like this make sure that you change it so this is a tip number one Okay, so I will just go on to the edit and select from the source. And here I am going to change the comma separated. And here we go, nice and easy. Done. Let's update this file. And now we are good to go to load the data. We load the data. Okay, great. Now let's go, let's go to the sheet and just build a new sheet. Okay, so uh, where we have the data that we just uploaded and uh, it is there, uh, some districts and so on and so forth and then we have uh, some charts. Now let's just build a map chart. Just put in here, drag it over here and once we have it, let's try to make a chart okay so the district is our geographic field the name of the district so let's just drag this and add as a point layer so here you will see something interesting it has plotted cities and the most of them are as i mentioned start there all cities belongs to the pakistan but there are certain cities with the similar names there are they are present all over the globe for example Skoistan, this is Karak, somewhere uh, around I think it's, it's Turkey or so. So, in order to make sure that we have a very nice function, nice functionality available, uh, that is called scope of the data. So, if you see here, it's just pointed out itself, it's restricted. I didn't have to do anything, it's already pointed out. Okay, so here we come, it has taken, that is not taking longitude, latitude field, I can put it myself, but for the time being, I'm just taking the name. Scope is auto. Auto means that it's try to evaluate all over the world what is the best location and it tries to uh, match the name. For example, if it's Kohistan, it's trying to match what is the best match, which with which city it best matches. But here if I just put it country and I just put it park. So if you see, we have 
some nice looking orientation as well so let's just get it and yeah and now all my cities are from Pakistan it has tried to resolve this particular data that where they exactly belong okay and you see these cities are here okay let's see there was a city named as Karak that was going outside Pakistan so I think here it would be somewhere here okay never mind just let's search it Karak here we go okay and here we go so here we have this particular city over here it's automatically done so here we go let's just clear it out yeah. here we have this particular city that we wanted to see okay so you see uh, this is when uh, we're trying to use auto intelligence of the click auto geolocation it tries to evaluate and match which city matches with the exact what click has and it resolves our problem so this is one basic nice function and then we have some other features that we can adjust the shape of this we can just share culture uh, change the colors and sorting is not uh, useful here and we can have tooltips we will come to that tooltips and other parts of the layers uh, in our next videos here i will just go to the customized layer that we have done for the districts okay so let's just pull in the coordinates over here and use it as a new layer we will call it an area layer and you see nice and easy don't have to do anything at all yes but at the back end what's happening is that uh, the coordinate layer is basically it's nothing it's just uh, this coordinate this coordinate this coordinate these points where it is basically have curves so i have put all the coordinates uh, in a linear fashion and just make a closer arc so just click and click you don't need to be an expert in making KML files you just have uh, the, the points and you can make a uh, boundary out of it yes the other uh, layers such as GeoJSON KML files are supported in click no doubt about it but this is a nice easy way that I have come up with okay so now for this particular area layer as we have defined it ourselves that it's there is this is not auto one so it is being there just an auto basis and we can define the colors so just let's color by dimension here we go so yeah and when the colors come there as you see it's not readable format so what if we want to make it readable that these rather than being these coordinates it should be cities so we can go to the coordinates and just put in that these are our not coordinates these are actually districts so it will automatically associate my data with okay location and for the colors here i have to come with districts here we go yeah here we go so this is it a uh, very very nice way where i have combined for the functionality of the click for auto fetching the points of the cities and then i have used a custom layer of the area using my own coordinates i have made uh, certain districts out of it so thank you very much for watching this video to learn more keep looking